Hi, welcome to Seymour's World Commentary. I want to thank you for all the hundreds of texts and emails I received regarding our 30th anniversary. This week, I would like to talk about people coming together. As all of you are aware, we have had one of the country's worst disasters in the Houston area, and now we are faced with another catastrophic hurricane in Florida. All of us have witnessed the devastation and the consequences of Hurricane Harvey. We have very good friends in Corpus Christi and our hearts are with them as they rebuild their lives. Sue and I were watching the news and two issues became apparent. One, we didn't see the obsession called Trump mania as the main focus of the news. And two, the country was coming together to help our fellow man. What Trump has done in polarizing our country is despicable in my view, and now it is time to refocus on people coming together. I don't want to spend another moment on Trump, but want us to focus on exactly that, people coming together. We need to develop and disseminate an entirely new paradigm and practice of collaboration that supersedes the traditional roles that have divided governments, philanthropies, and private enterprises for decades, and replace it with networks of partnerships working together to create a globally prosperous society. Real prosperity comes from everybody in the country working together in a growth mode. Real prosperity comes as a result of people's own initiative and efforts. Prosperity, if it comes from the government, is not really prosperity. It's an existence or a substance, but it isn't prosperity. Along the way, let's never forget that once we were children and that we were all playing together without distinction of skin color, society level, or where people come from. Adults need to remember to play and to be more childlike in our behavior. We've forgotten what that childlike experience was like. Here in America, we shouldn't let our differences tear us apart. Not here, because we know that our greatness comes from when we appreciate each other's strengths, when we learn from each other, when we lean on each other, because in this country, it should never be each person for themselves. No, we're all in this together. We always have been, and every now and then, we need a reminder, such as what is happening in Texas and Florida. Our uniqueness, our individuality, and our life experience molds us into fascinating beings. I hope we can embrace that. I pray we may all challenge ourselves to delve into the deepest resources of our hearts to cultivate an atmosphere of understanding acceptance, tolerance, and compassion. We are all in this life together. If people work together in an open way with porous boundaries, that is, if they listen to each other and really talk to each other, then they are bound to trade ideas that are mutual to each other and be influenced by each other. That mutual influence and open system of working creates collaboration. Right now, I think the most important thing we can do is bring people closer together. But our society is still divided. Now I believe we have a responsibility to do even more. We need to give people a voice to get a diversity of opinions out there. But we also need to build enough common ground so we can all make progress together. We need to stay connected with people we already know and care about, but we also need to meet new people with new perspectives. We need support from family and friends, but we also need to build communities to support us as well. Our lives are all connected. In the next generation, our greatest opportunities and challenges we can only take on together, ending poverty, curing disease, stopping climate change, spreading freedom and tolerance, stopping terrorism. No single group or even country can do that alone. 
we have to build a world where people come together to take on these big, meaningful efforts. There's no one in the world who can snap their fingers and make this happen. People have to want it. Change starts local. When enough of us feel a sense of purpose and support in our own lives, that we can start caring about broader issues too. I always believe people are basically good. As I've traveled around, I've met all kinds of people, from regular folks to heads of state, and I found they almost all genuinely care about helping people. This is our challenge. We have to build a world where everyone has a sense of purpose and community. That's how we'll bring the world closer together. We have to build a world where we care about a person in India or China or Nigeria or Mexico as much as a person here. That's how we'll achieve our greatest opportunities and build the world we want for generations to come. So how do we do this? As I've traveled around and learned about different places, one theme is clear. Every great community has great leaders. Think about it. A church doesn't just come together. It has a pastor who cares for the well-being of their congregation. He makes sure that they have food and shelter. A little league team has a coach who motivates the kids and helps them hit the ball better. We all have that power to be leaders. And if enough of us work to build community, and bring people closer together, we just might change the world. Thank you so much for all you do for your communities and for the world. It's an honor to be on this mission with you, and I'm looking forward to doing more with you. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to your comments. Have a wonderful day. Aloha.